Well, this is an interesting experiment. So here I am walking down a very steep hill, thinking about uh, video tools and whether or not they'd be suitable for a vlog idea that I've got, but it might be a pod, but it might be a whole bunch of things. So, so I'm not really sure at this stage, but I just thought, well, hang on, I've got an iPhone. They think hard about their software. How about just iMovie? So, so I'm just recording this straight into a iMovie, walking down a very steep hill, I should say, and um, we'll see if it does any. Truth be told, it seemed to work quite well. Now, I'm in two minds now. Do I delete that? Which, of course, I should, because it didn't really say anything other than the fact that I'm creating a video for a potential podcast video thing. Not, still not sure, actually. Uh, and uh, the trouble with keeping stuff is it's kind of like, you know, that thing about it takes your spirit away. You keep it and then you look at it and then it's you then and it's kind of... If it doesn't say anything, then you're kind of wondering whether or not that was important, and you go into a little bit of a black hole. Or maybe that's just me. The other issue, of course, is... No, nope, completely forgot what the other issue is. I remembered for a moment, but it's gone. Oh yeah, I do remember. It's that I've got a really, really bad habit of creating stuff and uh, a really bad habit of doing more and more. It's not that I never finish anything, I do finish things. It's just that I always end up with far more things than to finish than uh, I've necessarily got time to do. So, so there's a lot of projects kind of sitting, waiting, forlorn on the shelf, hoping that this may be their day. And it ain't because I'm making a stupid video. Sorry. But it does bring to a little bit of the point because the trouble with all of this stuff is, I mean, where do you stop? So I'm recording this on my phone, as I said before, and it seems to be working quite well, but then, you know, kind of, should I be using a microphone? Should I be using, a, you know, should I go back and edit it all? Should I um, have lights? Uh, should I have a selfie stick? Do I need a whole kit? Do I need a bag? Do I need it all to work out? Do I need to kind of get it all together then, or do I need the time? And, and yeah, the resources to collate it all, and then do I need an index, and then do I need a, a content plan, and all of these things just in order to get. And before you know it, you've got a whole bunch of baggage all around the podcast. And I found this again and again, you know, various things I've been trying to do and record and so on and so forth. It's always the case that before you know it, you've ended up trying to create a broadcast station with all the bells and whistles and multi-camera and this and that and so on and so forth. And the point of the original idea has completely got lost. So maybe this is the best way. Maybe the approach of minimalist, just take a phone, walk along, get stuff done, is the right one. Or maybe it'll just be yet another thing on the shelf. We shall find out. Which I think brings me to my important most important top tips about actually getting this stuff done. The, the first top tip is to, to remove all the friction from starting. Um, just start, just get going, because it's the 10,000 hours thing as well, isn't it? it? If you've never done it before, you've got to go through some pretty ropey experiences in order to get to those kind of pro um, levels. And, and the second thing is uh, remove all the baggage and stuff out of the way from actually getting it delivered. So, so it's... Um, it's pretty much about getting out, getting the friction out of the way because you can't build momentum while you've got friction. So, there you go.